Who doesn't like comfort foods from mac and cheese to pizza, especially on cold winter days? And many of our favorites pack quite a hefty punch when it comes to calories and fat. Yeah, so then you pay for it. But <laughs> there is a way to satisfy the cravings without sacrificing taste. And nutritionist Carrie Glassman is here to show us how. So it's not just about the fat, but a lot of this is about the taste, right? Well, it's the taste, but I mean, you said it right, especially the winter we've been having. Uh -huh. I mean, people are sitting home, people are feeling down in the dumps, sitting on the couch. Couch, yes. and they've been, you know, they want to go for fast, easy comfort foods, whether it's ordering in a pizza or whipping up some mac and cheese. They just want those comfort foods. Yes. And uh, very often, again, the fast comfort foods. All right, so I'm going to quiz you here. I'm going to okay, start with you, Carolina. Okay. I'm going to okay. start with you. So the typical mac and cheese that you might go for mm -hmm. is going to have how many calories do you think? Uh, I I'm going to say it's almost like your full daily. I would say like 1,200 or something like that. Well, when you said full daily, you're right. Right, but almost 2,000 calories. 2,000 so calories. 2,000 calories in this. And it's not just about the calories. We also know it's the quality of the food here. Right. It's just package process. We know that it's refined pasta. So it's basically just sugar. Right. And then we've got all the artificial ingredients in there, toxic mm -hmm. to our body. Right. Instead, we could make something just as fast. And sometimes people think in order to cook healthy, you have to cook fast. You don't. A little whole wheat pasta with a whole lot of vegetables. So instead of thinking about having a bowl of pasta, think about having a bowl of vegetables with a little bit of pasta on top. Like instead of pasta with a little bit of vegetables. Exactly. Right. And then put a little bit of fresh mozzarella in here. You'll still get the taste of the cheese. You'll still get the pasta and you can make it just as fast. And what right. are the stats on this? How, many, how much? And so this is going to have about 350 calories here. Wow. 350 calories yeah. versus 1,980. Much... And also, again, it's the quality of ingredients. We've got fiber. We've got antioxidants. We have real food here. Yes, okay. exactly. Pizza. Let's do okay. the pizza test. Oh, okay. John, let's see so, what he does. John, does. two slices of pepperoni pizza. What do you think? I think 3,000 calories. Actually, this one's going to be about 1,200 calories. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. So we have 1,200 calories. It's about 1,200 calories. Again, white bread. It's just refined carbohydrates. All that it basically is like having, again, it's like having sugar. It's going to mm -hmm. turn right to fat. And then we've got cheese, lots of cheese in there with saturated fat. And then we also have the pepperoni, which we know is a processed wow. meat. It's going to have nitrates, Nitrate. which but also it, can it be cancer causing. So good. Right? But just as easily, you could make something at home. What is this? For a lot less calories, so about 670 calories. Could take two whole wheat tortillas, which are so easy just to keep at home. And also, you know, you can wrap up sandwiches for the day right. as well. A little bit of tomato sauce in there which you could have used the day before on this over here broccoli again I have a little bit of chicken sausage in there for a little extra protein mm -hmm. and again to sort of replicate that pepperoni flavor and a little bit of fresh mozzarella 1200 calories versus how many calories for this this one has 670 See, oh, so almost, you're so cutting, it in, yeah, you're cutting, cutting it in half, half. Okay. and again that's gonna take you probably less time than if you were ordering that up to your this <laughs> is true okay so now let's move on to an all-american favorite the burger the burger Okay. The bacon cheeseburger. Bacon cheeseburger. Oh, bacon cheeseburger. Now bacon we're talking. Cheeseburger. Okay, so I'm going to go with... This is a pretty small one, too. Okay. This is like one of those ones you might get maybe at a diner, or it's not an oversized one, but a typical... Typical size bacon cheeseburger. What can, do you think? Okay, can I say uh, 11, uh, 1,000 calories? You're very close. Am 940 I? calories. Well, that's yes. not that bad. But no. again, but look well, at what you have not, in but again, there. It's not just the calories. It's not just calories. It's calories and also it's quantity would be calories, but it's right. quality. The quality of this gets a big flat zero. Oh, an man. F. I mean, again, refined carbohydrates, processed meat from the bacon. Again, the fatty meat from the burger here. This is not what we should be eating. What should we and be eating? And just as easily, we could have for 350 calories. Yes, yes. We could make, this is a bison burger right here. Bison is a very lean meat, but you do have that feeling of you now having a hearty burger of sweet baked potato, which I love sweet again, potatoes. lots of fiber, mm -hmm. vitamin A, the antioxidants, and then a little roasted asparagus. Again, you could make that faster than you could order that or make that. Where do you get bison actually, burger? You get bi most grocery stores these days sell that. You don't really have to go to a specialty store. I mean, maybe not every supermarket out there, but a lot of stores are carrying them. Even prepackaged, you can keep it in your freezer. Yeah. Great. Easier to find. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. John. I thought this was the healthy food. <laughs> you thought this was the way to go as you're sitting I, there eating. I, and for I, breakfast, it, it, not a way to start the day. You said chicken. I thought chicken was good. What's wrong with chicken? Okay, chicken, lots of protein, but mm -hmm. deep fried, not really so much the way mm. to go. So how many how many calories do you think this is right here? All of these? Yeah. 1,162. You guys are pretty good.
guess are we really? You know your math. A thousand <laughs> calories. A thousand here. calories. For yeah. all of these? Yes, yeah, so a thousand calories. Really a, for a typical, for a typical, <laughs> a typical order. Oh, this one may have been a little bit bigger here, so maybe, maybe I'm going to pump that one up to maybe 1,400. No, calories. because you know what? Our but, children are eating this. This is like what yeah, one what meal. Look at how much fat is in this. Because usually, also the chicken fat. figures are also used with not necessarily the best quality chicken. Right. And then you've got the breading, and then it's deep fried. And you know when you fry, you change the chemical structure of the oils, making them even worse for you, even yeah, if you start off with a healthy oil. Mm -hmm. So instead, for about 300 calories, just take a regular chicken breast and cut it into strips. Even kids will like that. They can even pick up the chicken strips right. with their fingers if they want to do that. Steamed cauliflower, it's very filling. Again, you're going to fill up on the vegetables, Fiber. not just the protein. Exactly. People eat these. They're just eating all the protein. You want more vegetables on your plate and some roasted peppers. Again, I made all four of these healthy dishes in probably less than 15 minutes. That's the problem, though, is that nobody wants to take the time. We want that immediacy. Yeah, but, but I mean, all well, four want, of want. those in 15 minutes. Right. Saying I was doing all that. I mean, that's, but that's fast. That's, Absolutely. again, less than the amount of time to, you know, order some of these. Yes. I and think that one of the tricks, too, is just having this stuff on the shelf and in the freezer. Ready to go. Ready, to ready go. home. Delicious yeah. But again, food. just yeah. a few things to keep it home here. Keep it stocked in your freezer, in your fridge, in your pantry, and you're and good to go good for, for any you. craving that comes yeah. up. That's right. Even Thank for you nuggets. so much, Carrie Glassman. <laughs> this was Throw great. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thanks. You're welcome. Well,